Oh yang bisa tadi lagi Ah, beres ni untuk beres dalam kita. So, ah, this morning we'd like to thank God for the. We are almost done with our um first AP student AP convention. As you have ah, as you have ah heard last last day ah yesterday, this is the first in our university, and this is also the first in the whole world Philippines. I think it's also the first. So you are part of the literature evangelist history. Yeah. So thank you very much for sincerely attending our convention, and we would like to really thank God for sending us uh, uh, good speakers. Are you blessed? Yes. yes. Especially with the message of uh, Pastor Bermudez last yesterday, and message of Pastor uh, Bindi on the Vesper about the power of the printed speech. So you see the little things it can give, it can give a great impact into the lives of our people like, like this uh, literature evangelists. So today I would like to report all the accomplishments and the plans that we have for this uh, humble organization. As of today, the Student Association of Literature Evangelists is uh, continue on its uh, growing, but still uh, we are not yet really uh, uh, that organized as as compared compared to other organizations in San Campus. But now uh, the reason why we will also be why we also have this uh, event for us to uh, make an impact into our university, into the students that we are really serious in what we are doing. Have you realized that yesterday, especially this afternoon, what is really the importance of the work? It is really unique. This is really something that we should uh, prioritize, and it is really something that uh, can uh, prepare us for the future. So, uh, we had our first uh, meeting with the SADA officers and the uh, election of officers of last July 11, 2000. 14. So on that day, we have elected our officers, and they are here also. Some of, two of us uh, have some uh, health problems, that's why they are not present. So July 11 was the mark was the first uh, meeting, and uh, on August 6 was the if you remember that our promotion in PIC, it was our first promotion this 2014. So there are actually uh, we had. Have you heard about the feedback about those uh, 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 option? So I heard some that they are really blessed because of the prototype story of that pilot. Do you remember? Yes. Anyone who remember or forget? There's someone who forget. Oh, I think there's none. So we can see here that uh, uh, through the lives of the people of that man, our church. Is, which is also our church with, is uh, many are inspired. So we praise God for that. And on August 8 to 9, just the weekend after our midweek promotion, we have the officers, the newly elected officers, had their spiritual retreat at the Literature Ministry Seminary at Lipa City, Batangas. So it is a two day event in which uh, the, the officers are. Uh, acquainted with each other and uh, we had our plans, our meetings for the organization. On that day, on that na Saturday night, we had uh, the ratification of our constitution, which is, our constitution is also uh, revised from the Mountain View College. So as we have also seen, heard before, in many students here and also as what Pastor Bermudez have told us, uh, yesterday, the Southern Organization in Mountain View College are so organized as of today. So we are envisioning that we could also reach that standard that the Lord wants us to be. That's why we also base our uh, constitution, then we just change uh, some uh, things because there, there are some also who is not uh, applicable in our uh, place. Um, and uh, on that uh, retreat, we also plan 
pray for the that more entities will uh, join our summer student program. So we are really blessed for having this program. And on last uh, September, I forgot the exact date. I think it's September 21. Uh, 20, September 20, we had our acquaintance night. Who, who have not attended the Sunday acquaintance night? Who attended? So, it's good that you are present also. So, on that acquaintance night, as you are, as you have seen, uh, we have some games and uh, acquaintance so, to our fellow athletes. Who among you met new friends during that acquaintance? New friends, new LEs, that they are LEs but you don't know don't them personally. Is there someone? So, actually that's the purpose of why we, have, we are having some acquaintance uh, celebrations like that. And uh, uh, not really officially by the program by the Sunday, some of our uh, members, officers with the leadership of Brother June, as a uh, have a book giving ministry in the dormitory for the non attendees so may we thank you brother John, for leading that simple simple and great uh, uh, program so it impacted uh, the lives of the uh, non attendee students in the uh, dormitory so, i think it's happened uh, i think it's happened before the same break last week Third week of October, so we have our book giving ministry in the non Adventist people. In the Adventist. And uh, as of today, November 28 to 30, we had our early convention, and uh, we really praise God for having this uh, great uh, event in which our publishing leaders was invited. So. It's really a great privilege for us that we heard the testimonies of our publishing leaders from the division, from the union, from the conferences, missions, from the district, from the branch managers. So it's really a, a great privilege for us. So this morning, we will we'll just be waiting for Pastor Lorenzo for the test. We will be meeting us in our commitment service. So that's our... Uh, that's our uh, accomplishment. So, what are our future plans? So, I would just like to share this. Uh, who among you uh, uh, who are not yet really decided to go to summer canvas in this coming summer 2015? Is there anyone who is not yet decided? Thinking about it? Uh, any, anywhere? anywhere? Because uh, uh, today, this coming summer, we have four months, four months summer. So we are not yet really decided if we will uh, make it uh, four months or just make it two months. But the thing is, uh, if, if, so what we have, uh, just to share about, I would just like to share what we have. We met last night after the afternoon, after the UI. The director says that uh, if the student want to stay four months, let them stay. If the students want to take two months, don't uh, uh, push, don't uh, try to hinder them. So, whom you here decided to think, decided to thinking that uh, he will take four months straight of the summer embassy? Sino po ang gusto ng four months? Sino po ang parang two months lang? So, we have different uh, positions. What? Three months. Three months? Okay, yeah, no problem yun. Actually, uh, uh, we cannot really finalize these things. Just a give review because it will still based on your leaders. Because uh, this coming summer, we, we are praying that we will be at least have the uh, I think we are praying for 8 to 10 groups. One in Bangu City, one in Pangasinan, in Northern Luzon Mission, one in Bangu City, one in Province Mission, and one in uh, South Central Luzon Conference in San Pedro Laguna, and uh, many in Central Luzon Conference. I think uh, uh, by the grace of God, we will 
uh, having five or four or more than five groups in CLC because uh, it's a very big and uh, uh, good territory because there, uh, this is the place of the NCR, the Manila, the, the most populated uh, place in our country. So there are many people who are hungry for the work. So many enemies will be sent to Manila. So uh, this coming uh, February 20th, uh, February This coming February 15 to 21, we will be having our Sunday week or Literature Evangelist Week. So this is our, uh, on this day, we will be finalizing all the summer groups. So as of today, uh, we, are, we already have some, already, we already have some leaders. Who among you are interested to uh, know the leaders? Uh, okay, anyway. So maybe we'll, we'll just be uh, presenting them to you later. So anyway, uh, what we uh, will be uh, doing in Sunday week is that uh, we will be having a... This convention is designed for us to be revived, to be united here. And on February, we will be having the great promotion in the church. So we are really encouraging you, students who are here, that way we, we are really uh, depending on you to participate. Because we, on ourselves as officers, we are just also limited. Uh, we are really uh, counting on you on that event. And during, before the February uh, 15 to 21, we'll be, we are also encouraging you to, to encourage your friends, your roommates. Uh, all of you here uh, learn about canvassing through roommates. Or friends, classmates, classmates. So many of us, uh, like, like uh, Sister Dina, he was uh, invited in my friends, I think most of us, I think most of us. I myself was uh, invited when uh, I met I at high school, uh, a leader visited our church. But here in AUP, most, most of the recruitment will happen by one by one person. For example, uh, after your class, for example, uh, uh, reading in speech 230 to 4, yeah. after the class, when you are walking, going to another class, you talk to your classmates who do you think might be interested, invite them, and give them application forms. Anyway, uh, we already have application forms here. Uh, don't worry, don't. So you can sign later. So, so we are also encouraging the students to invite more uh, friends in this sacred work. So there will be more students will be joining. So our goal today, as we have said last night on our meeting, our goal today is at least we will be having a uh, six to ten groups with 15 members each group. We'll be sent there to the Bulldozon um, area and we'll be bringing uh, this printed page. So I will not be much on the important thing in the page because we already heard it uh, yesterday. But uh, I just like to share to you that selling books is really something that uh, not really greater as Pastor Deyoba said last Friday. It's not really greater than other ministries. But the, the thing is uh, on the training, it will give you a uh, deeper uh, training because uh, in canvassing, we are self-supporting missionaries. You know, I would like to share to you one of my experience when I am when I first joined the canvassing second in high school. I am really uh, now I'm really nervous because uh, I will be separated from my parents. And the leader said that we are encouraged not to ask for money for our 
allowance for our parents. So I'm thinking, where I can get? So what if I don't sell magazine? I cannot sell for one week. I, I will really die. Like so, you know, I still think like that. So maybe I will, uh, I will experience many painful um, experiences. But as I, as, I, as I started, I learned that canvassing is really a blessed uh, work because in this world, you will uh, find opportunities to to give uh, mes messages to the people. There are some people who, who don't want to talk to you about religious things. Yes. They say, no, 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 don't pray for me. But when you had sell health books with the complement of great controversy, it's already the message. So in uh, literature evangelism, more people will be rich. Because uh, you do not need to spend more time. The Lord, will, the Holy Spirit will work on the books we sell. So that's the difference. And uh, other things is that uh, when we manage our own financial, anyway, we are almost doing it, especially to the working student. But uh, we are not dependent on anyone but unto the Lord only during summer. Because uh, you will be contributing. Uh, uh, on my first time, we contribute 30 pesos. Uh, as the years go by, it's become 40, sometimes 50. It's, it's dependent on the leader. And especially, I remember one time when we are assigned to the city, because in the city, the, the food are expensive. That's why the budget becomes 15, sometimes 55. But when you are uh, assigned to the rural areas, the budget is also only 30. So it will be dependent on the on the places. Anyway, so there are many lessons that we will learn. So my point is that uh, to really commit ourselves and that uh, we invite more friends. So we'll be back to the uh, lunch. So on the Sunday week, we'll be handling the midweek, Vesper and Sabbath. And on the Sabbath, the, all the publishing directors in the whole zone will be coming. So the publishing directors yesterday are not yet complete. So they are uh, only the central Zone conference and the uh, South Central Zone conference are here. On the on that February, we'll be seeing all the our publishing leaders, and we'll be also inviting our literature evangelists from uh, the North Philippine Union. So. Uh, so we would like also to open the, the, this program. If you have some suggestions, you can just approach us for the improvement of our promotion for this coming February. And on March, uh, our goal is that uh, before the March starts, the, uh, the groups are already uh, finalized. So we are counting on you to, uh, to pray for your decisions and then uh, invite more friends. And then uh, on March, we will be finalizing our groups. We will be uh, your leaders. So we'll be doing like small groups here during this time. Because the, your, the students leaders will, uh, will be the one who will lead you, who will, who will plan all. For example, uh, Brother uh, Anthony will be assigned to Baguio. Uh, the leader is, for example, is uh, uh, Sister Arla, for example. So, it's good that you will be providing the map of the Baguio City. So, when you arrive there, you already know the streets and uh, the, where is the, the house that you will be staying. So, you will uh, have a plan for uh, for that uh, saturation, because in during summer Christmasy, we are we are always, always targeting to saturate the place. Will be. That's, I think that's another difference. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, so in the saturation of place, what we do before is that uh, we'll be having the whole map of the city, and that uh, we will mark all the the streets all the highways, all the homes, all the offices. So you can also do that on the planning of your groups. So are you excited about that? Yes. Yes, so we are really uh, bold by that. So you see this picture, they are really enthusiastic. Enthusiastic uh, 
selling this book about this. One. So, uh, and also, uh, don't be afraid, uh, sisters and brothers, literature evangelists. Before we will be sending to the, to the uh, areas, we will be having a three-day seminar. As, uh, anyway. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, lead officers, for being responsible for providing this uh, uh, my, uh, electricity generator. So it's really, it's really uh, blessed, very blessed for this uh, uh, for this generator. So uh, as what director Panaya said before yesterday we'll be having a training so don't be afraid that uh, you will be sent without training because we need trainings so uh, we are not yet really decided uh, we are not yet really finalized when will be the training but the tendency is this is on the either last week of march or first week of april first week of april we will be all already sent will be already uh, be assigned to our different territories. What again the territories? Pampisinan, Baguio, uh, many cities in Manila, and San Pedro Laguna. And I think we will be also having in Rizal, for the first time in Rizal, uh, in, uh, I think, Montalban Rizal. Montalban, Montalban Rizal. So we would like to actually a opening a canvassing work in a for the first time in a place where the city was uh, somewhat uh, more uh, challenging because uh, uh, the people do not know yet our books there. Because uh, for example in Lipa, I have canvas two summers there. I even let uh, customers they say, Oh, you came back. We because some, someone already visited us for, I think every summer, three summers, the customer is already uh, doing books. But uh, on the city, on the place, like, will be in Rizal, in Montalban, Rizal, it's a pioneering work. The tendency is our books is not yet known there, so it's really a uh, more challenging work. But as we have studied last, yesterday, uh, uh, the, Almost in the whole world, every, almost, uh, I think, uh, in my own estimation, I think 70% of our of the countries in the whole world was first reached by literature evangelists. Is it, a, is it a, uh, amen? Amen. So like in uh, China, like in uh, Philippines, in Indonesia, in, uh, in Mongolia, in uh, Switzerland, many uh, it was first reached by the literature evangelist. So I believe, brothers and sisters, that uh, as you canvas the different places, you will be also pioneering a church. Uh, are you, do you imagine that uh, the place that you have uh, canvas maybe five years ago will be a church? There are many stories about that. Uh, I heard one from Russia that uh, a rich man with a great controversy, uh, all, only a gift from a friend. And that rich man was really uh, convinced on that book. So what he did is he looked for Seventh-day Adventists, which is uh, many miles away. Because in Russia, Adventism is also minority on minority as of today. So in that place, uh, he started to uh, invite more friends to gather to study about the Great Controversy and later the literature evangelists know about that and they send pastors on that place. So because the one who read the Great Controversy is a rich man, he's, uh, he built the church just beside his house. So what a wonderful story. So maybe uh, uh, you will face like, like Pastor Bermudez said, uh, you will experience like what, what Pastor Bermudez tell us last Friday, that he was uh, uh, a, a pail of water was uh, 
in Indonesia, a uh, student that experienced that he was uh, even parang nagbuhos na tulig yet. So, talaga, uh, it's really challenging. So, we will really experience many things. So, I would like also to tell to you students that uh, as you, I would like to tell you that canvassing is not really uh, easy. You will really face difficulties. I even experienced that uh, uh, I don't have exact fear to come back to our place. So I really pray, prayed hard for that so the Lord will, is providing. You know, uh, in canvassing work, you will just don't like what Ellen White says. I just forget the page in Composure Ministry. In canvassing work, there is more hardship. There is more difficulties. So what are the advantages of having more difficulties? You are trained more. You are strengthened more and more. As, uh, as if that sometimes uh, you are someone uh, not, not really already affected because you are experiencing it many times. For example, uh, <clears throat> I also experience sometimes that uh, I think it's not only once but thrice that my fear is not enough for going back to the uh, headquarters. But uh, I, I'm used to that already. And then uh, I just pray that the Lord, I know you will provide. I just knock to the door and the Holy Spirit works. So you will really learn many things. Actually, that experience, experience I, I, I'm really cherishing it because may, when we are already leaders in the church, we will also experience bigger but almost the same situations in the church. For example, conflicts or financial, pro financial problems in the church. I know that in this place, there will be someone who will be soon the president of the conferences. Do you believe that? So you will, I know, I see in your eye, some will be publishing directors, good directors. In canvassing work, you will learn many practical lessons, not just merely uh, uh, praying for the people, but also uh, practical things like uh, traveling many times. You will, uh, you will, how long you hear is, uh, uh, not really a traveler, eh? Uh, uh, explorer. Who is, who is his uh, loves to explore places? Who can we easily get, uh, get, for example, uh, for example, I am a leader in your group. You said, wait a minute, can you give me a prospect? Oh, I will give you. I'll just draw a map with a square and a house and a just put X. This is the uh, Santo Nino Street and like that. And then uh, this is the Gumamega Street. You turn right and right. Are you excited about doing that thing? Yeah. You will finish with many experience like that. Because uh, I would just like to share you one of the techniques. Techniques. You, it will be also shared to you during the seminars that I would like to I'm very excited about you. For example, Sister Irene was my customer. For you to have a quality customer for the next, yeah. not the really next, next hours of your work, you ask for the referral for him, especially if she is a good customer. So the referral, oh, she will uh, draw just like Santa Lina Street, Guamela Street, and you turn right, right in a jeepney, right in a train, LRT, or tricycle. So I even experienced riding in a pedicab. You know pedicab? In San Pedro Laguna, there's a lot of pedicab. It's a bike with sidecar yeah, in the Philippines. So you will really explore many places. You will reach the end of the streets. You will reach the uh, the tallest buildings in Manila. You will reach the uh, I heard about one student from Mount Pilipari. She even uh, uh, go to Vice President Binay, the Vice President of the Philippines. So you know, you really I even uh, also experienced uh, meeting. Uh, 
elite people in Santa Rosa. So, you will explore many places, you will learn more about people, uh, people's life, the cultures they had, the cultures they had in a, uh, in a, uh, are you familiar about the, uh, for example, in the urban, urban, urban uh, missions? Actually, uh, visiting the places is, uh, is not enough. It is really, we as literature evangelists, we will really uh, understand more the cultures on how to win them for Christ. As you talk to them, they will, uh, I even experience here in Potika, one of the restaurants there, that the manager is even opening the problems with her, that uh, her, her, her husband is cheating him. You, have you imagined that? 18 years old, you're 18 years old, uh, a 6 year old business, rich business woman will be opening to you their problems, you will pray for them. So it's really something that uh, uh, they trust us because they, if we just say, we just, uh, I mean, we are, we show to them that we are sincere in what we are doing, that we are bringing them the Bible stories, the help books to prepare them for heaven. So they are really uh, also sincere on, uh, on treating us. Anyway, you will also experience mistreated by authorities. But when you really pray for that, the Lord will uh, sincerely bless you. So this is more what I'm talking for this few minutes is more about for the preparation of the summer canvassing. Kind of so I'll go back to the plans. On uh, March, either first last week of March or first week of April, we'll be having a uh, We'll be having our summer uh, canvassing training. Will be, I think we'll, it will. We're not yet sure about that. I think it will happen already in your territory when you are already in your territories. So it's really exciting. I also remember in, we are assigned in Binyan. We visited the the uh, municipal office and we asked for the map. So we studied the maps and uh, uh, we visited those places. I remember with Brother Dexter, uh, yellow, who's wearing yellow mostly. We are uh, on the first day 2013 canvassing in Binyan. We sat, we visited all the dentists, all the dental clinics. On the other day, we visited uh, uh, all uh, optical clinics. On the other day, we visited the municipal office, the politician in the munici municipal office. On the other day, we visited, we are also spending time visiting the uh, less fortunate people because they also need uh, our books. So we sell uh, you know, on uh, like the squatters area. So you will also visit there and you will also visit uh, big companies. We even visited uh, in Alabama the big buildings there. So, there are, lot of, there are lots of thousands of opportunities to share to people. Okay. So, another thing is that um, on April, first week of April also, we'll be sending the groups on the, on the uh, different territories. So, for, for now, uh, we would like you to I would like to request for the secretary or anyone here to to prepare a paper and uh, to be circulated here, here. So anyone? And we put in there our territories. We are not prepared about this. So anyone? Okay. Uh, just uh, so I will be circulating a piece of paper. Just. And uh, I will help. So, so I will put here the places. So put your name if you are interested to Baguio, if you are interested to Pangasinan, if you are interested to Manila or to Rizal. So, 
So we will be having an idea on the work you are interested to join in. survey so we can see among these random people <laughs> you saw yesterday we are over overflowing up to there but now we are few so I, ah, no. okay <laughs> so uh, so now we will be having a survey some of the survey so you what where uh, territory you are interested in uh, so for now, uh, actually we are already waiting, still waiting for our commitment speaker. But for now, we'll, I think yesterday is the time is not uh, really uh, uh, enough. So we will be having a question and answer today. And uh, thank you for Mr. Luis Florido is here. So and questions that our officers cannot answer, he can answer because he has more experiences, years in the ministry. So, anyone who has questions, uh, I encourage you to really open those things that you are not, not clarify to you. Even your personal situations, we will consider that. We are really sincere here. Uh, 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 dear members, we are really sincere here for you to to prepare for this sacred work. So we will really uh, listen to you. So anyone who have questions or some clarifications, even your personal situations or your groups, your parents' situations or anything? 